Hey guys, this is Tech with Gold Party LLC, and in this video, I want to talk to you about using our payment calculator and how much to pay people for their gold. We've redone our payment videos, and we're now gearing it around our payment calculator that we have for free on our website. Um, if you go to goldpartyllc.com, you'll see a button that says Payment Calculator. Click on that, and this calculator is available there and it's also available for a desktop download. We do charge for that, but it's for free in our bundle kit that we have on our store page. So to begin, when you pay people for their scrap gold, you need to deduct a lot of things out of that payment in order for your business to survive. First off, if you're buying 10 karat gold, it's not 100% pure, so you need to deduct for that impurity. Second, you have your refiner fee. If your refiner is charging you 5 or 10% of the total amount of the gold, that needs to come out too. Second is market risk. If the gold price swings overnight, goes down while you're sleeping. Third is your business costs. And last, your profits. Okay, You need to deduct for all these things, and our calculator does that for you. So if you take a look at that page, if you can navigate there, if you're not there already, and uh, we have some instructions there called using our payment calculator. It's right underneath the calculator itself, and I'll walk you through those instructions. First is carat amount. Type in the purity of your jewelry here. 10 carat, 8, 12, 14, 18, and our formula accounts for the impurity. Second is current spot price. Type in the daily spot. You'll find that on that page we made the spot price available. Refiner fee. If it's 5%, 2 3 8%, type it in there. Percentage of spot paid. This is the number that you need to reduce to determine how much money you're going to make. And if you pay the customer 100% of the spot price, then you're not going to make anything. So you need to pay them, let's say, 80% of the spot price, or 70 or 60 or 50 The lower you pay, the more money you make. And that's going to be shown to you in our profit margin figure that comes out after you hit submit. So once again, the variables are carat, spot price, refiner fee, and percentage of spot paid. Now after you hit submit, you're going to have price per gram to customer and profit margin. The price per gram to customer is the amount that you're going to pay them for each gram of that specific jewelry amount. I've got a 14 carat tub here. I put it on my scale. It's worth 10 grams. Excuse me, it weighs 10 grams. So I take the 10 grams and I multiply it by the figure that the calculator spits out for me. Okay, And given that price per gram to the customer, it gives me a profit margin percent. And you should see that there on the calculator with whatever numbers you're plugging in. The higher the profit, the more profit margin, the more money you're going to make. And I'm sure you're wondering now, how much should I pay? How much are other people paying? And how much do I pay? So I'll get to that in just one second. I want to talk to you about our pay per gram price worksheet. This is a bonus item that comes in our bundle package on our store. You can make one on your own if, you're, if you want to. But what I do is I compute the different carat amounts, how much I'm going to pay per gram to the customers before I leave my house. And I simply have this piece of paper available to me at the party. And I quickly refer to it, do my numbers on the calculator, multiply it by my weight, and then I pay the person right there. So it makes everything easier when I don't have to do a big long formula at the party. Now how much should you be paying the customers for their scrap? I did a lot of research, we did a lot of research here with my company when we first started out and I would like to uh, describe it as three tiers of the gold buying business. The first is the gold partiers like you and I, the second is the pawn shops, and the third is uh, the gold mail-in companies. And they each pay a different general amount. The gold partiers like us, we pay the most. We receive a profit margin of anywhere from 50% to about 300%. The pawn shops, they'll pay anywhere from, or they'll make anywhere from 300% profit margin to 700% profit margin. And lastly, the gold mail-in companies, I believe that they make the most from out of anyone. Uh, the checks that we've received back from the gold mail-in companies when we sent experimental size items to all of them, we saw that some were making 1,000, 2,000, uh, one was close to 3,000% profit margin. 
So that means for every dollar that they paid to someone, they were making up to $33 of a return. So when you think that's kind of mind-boggling, when you extrapolate that out, if you're buying $10,000 or $100,000 worth of scrap gold, and you have, let's say, a 100% profit margin, that 100 grand is going to make you 100 grand. So afterwards, you're going to have a total of $200,000 given that profit margin. So you can just think, if you have 100,000 and you're making a three, four, five, two thousand percent profit margin, you can understand that these guys are making a killing and there's room for you in the process. So once again, using our payment calculator on our website or the desktop version, uh, if you buy it, will really help you. You plug in the numbers before you go to your party and you have it there. Uh, it deducts for all the basic expenses that you have and even tells you how much of a profit margin you're going to make. How much do I usually pay people? Uh, the last party I did, they were friends and family and I ended up making 60% profit margin on it, which is pretty good. Um, so some of our past parties have been much higher than that. They've been in the hundreds, one, 200% profit margin. You have to walk a fine line between making enough money for your business and making sure that your customers are happy. You don't ever, you don't ever want anyone to be um, upset, um, disappointed. You want to make them happy. That doesn't mean that you need to go to make a loss or anywhere near it, but do your best. And um, also remember that you can turn down any customer that you want to if, if they're not accepting what you need in order for your business to survive. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever, send me an email, uh, visit our website, or if you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment underneath the video. I look forward to hearing from you guys, and um, thanks for watching.